Psalms 20. Psalms 27 tells us, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Yes. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Yes. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked came against me to eat up my flesh, my enemies and foes, mm -hmm. they stumbled and fell. Yeah, yeah. Though an army may encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. <laughs> Though war may rise against well, me, well. in this will I be confident. Yes, yes. One thing I have desired of the Lord, well, yes. that I will seek out, yes. that I may dwell in the house of the Lord, all the days of my life yes. to behold the beauty of the Lord yes. and to inquire in his temple. Hallelujah. For in the time of trouble, well, well, he yes. shall hide me in yes. his pavilion, in the secret place of his tabernacle. Yes. He shall hide me. He shall set me high upon a rock. Yes. And yes. now my head shall be lifted yes. up above my enemies all around me. Yes. Therefore, I will offer sacrifices of joy, joy. in his tabernacle. Yes. I will sing, yes. yes, I will sing praises to the Lord. Yes. I would have lost heart yes. unless I had believed mm. that I would see the goodness of the Lord in the land yes. of the living. Yes. Wait on the Lord, wait, wait. Yes. be of good courage, yes. and he shall strengthen your heart. Yes. Wait, I say on wait. the Lord. Yes. Let us pray. Yes. Lord God, thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Yeah, yeah. Our hope is in you. Yes, yes, thank Lord. you for being our strong foundation. Yes. Thank you, God, for being our refuge. Thank you, God, thank you, God for being our strength. Yes. Thank you, God, for being our hiding place. Yes. Thank you, God, for being our comfort, God. Well, yeah. Thank you, God, that you are our front guard, our rear guard. We need Hallelujah. God. Yes. Thank you Thank for you, being Lord. our everything. Because you are our everything, Lord, we have nothing to fear. Our trust is in you. Yes. We cast our cares on you, God, because you care for us. God, I ask right now, God, that you would forgive us for our sins, God. We don't always do the things that you tell us to. Well, well. We don't always say the things that you want us to say, God. So right now, I ask God that you forgive us, God. Yeah. Create in each of us, God, clean hearts, God. Renew your right spirit within each of us. Lord, I ask God that you would please, Lord, please continue to heal our land. God, we are your people. We are seeking your face, God. And we need you, God, to heal this land. Lord, you aren't interested in the red states, the blue states. God, you love us all. So, God, we ask that you would just continue to move, God, on our behalf. God, I can remember as a child my mama teaching me songs, God, that told me that you got the whole world in your hands, God. It said you got the little bitty baby, God, in your hands. You got me, you got little brother, you got little sister, God, you got us all in your hands. And I also remember, God, she sang a song and taught me, that you love the children of the world, God. Whether they are red, yellow, black, and white. You said that they were all precious in your sight, God. So help us to remember right now, God. In 2020, God, these things we were taught as children, God. Help us to remember, God, so that we can come together, God, and be a world that you be proud of, God. You
grateful play, God, that is going across our land, God. We ask that you would heal all sicknesses, God. Cancer, diabetes, God. High blood pressure, low blood pressure, God. Regulate kidneys, God. Line up every organ, God. Every system, God. That they would work in the way that you intend them to, God. Comfort those, God, who are feeling lonely right now, God. Regulate the minds, God, of those who are troubled, God. Our world needs you, God. We can't make it without you, God. Allow all of our needs to be met, God. There are people who aren't working, God, who are struggling, God. Allow every need to be met, God. Let no one go to bed hungry, God. Let no one go to bed wondering, how am I going to make it through the next day, God? Keep us, Lord. God, I ask that you keep our children safe, God, our little children, God, our middle school children, God, our adult children, our children who are away at college, God. I ask that you keep us all safe, God, and give them wisdom, God, so that they would be able to make wise choices, God, that they would be able to remember the things that they were taught, God. I ask that you would just bless those that are in the hospitals, God. Bless the staff, God. Bless our first responders, God. The frontline workers, God. Those that are, um, when I talk about our children, God, those that are actually in school, God, protect them, shield them, God. Those that are taking online classes, God, touch their minds, God, because there's something about being together, God, and they're missing that. So, God, I ask that you just continue to just bless them, God. Keep them, God. Give them everything that they need, God. Bless the teachers, God, the administrators, God, our elderly people, God, those who are feeling so alone, God, our neighbors, God, those in nursing homes, God, who don't have anybody to be able to see about, God. I ask that you touch all of your people, God. Heal us, God. Protect us, God. Shield us from the end. God. There is nothing, God, that we think is too hard for you, God. We know that you're able to do anything but fail. We know that there is no weapon that's formed against us that shall prosper, God. I ask that you would touch this land, God. Touch our neighborhoods. Start in our neighborhoods, God. There was a shooting this evening, God, just today where a 12-year-old was taken, God. I ask that you would touch his family, God. Touch children all over, God, that they are protected by your blood, God. I plead your blood right now, God, in the name of Jesus. Over all of us, God, over our young people, God, so that they would be able to see the potential, God, that you have in them, God. The enemy wants to snuff them out, God.
there's something about that that name Jesus Jesus Son of the living God. Yes. There is something about that. Demons tremble at the name of Jesus. That's in that name. Jesus. Hallelujah. Confidence is in you, O oh God. Oh yes. 
we bless your holy and righteous name. Hallelujah. 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 We give you the highest praise of your life. We exalt and magnify your name. We are not ashamed to declare that you are our God. You are our Father. We love you and we appreciate you, Lord Master. We thank you that you got the whole world in your heart. Thank you, God, that nothing can happen without your awareness of it. And according to your word, you've already made provisions for your children. That no weapon that is formed against us is able to prosper. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. And so, God, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Want to be as timely as possible because God is about to overtake this thing. Yeah. Should I say overtake it again? No wonder Jesus told us that man should always pray yeah, yeah, and yeah. not faint. Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know about you, but that prayer helped me. Yes, yes. Hello, somebody. It gave me some strength that I, I didn't even know I needed, uh, but it gave me some strength. And, and then when the psalmist glorified God and praised Him, oh, Lord, have mercy. Paul says, I don't know how I got there, but I was lifted up into the third heaven. And I began to perceive things that I couldn't perceive on earth. I, I began to see stuff that I couldn't see. I couldn't see on earth. Because God had transported me Yes, yes. To a higher plane. Yes, sir. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. And I don't know about you, church, but I ain't planning on coming down. Yes, yes, sir. I'm not planning on coming Hallelujah. coming down. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah, somebody. So we, we thank you, God. We we thank you. We give you glory. We give you honor. And, and we, do, we do give you praise. Thank you for the power and the presence of our, our God. Hallelujah. 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 God has led me and this is one of those passages of scripture that I just can't get enough of. And, um, and sometimes when ministers minister in this fashion, uh, somebody will say in their spirit, he, he just preached that. Mm -hmm. uh, but, but, but God is a timely God. And sometimes when circumstances are as they are, we need a timely word from the Lord. And, and a word that may have been a past word becomes a fresh word for the time that is at hand. Hallelujah, somebody. So I'll just say it might be a familiar text, but it's a timely text uh, for what God wants to say to the church today. I want to take you to 2 Chronicles chapter 20. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 2 Chronicles uh, chapter 20. And sometimes God, God, God preaches, uh, take you places that you don't even know why he's taking you there. But, but there's a divine vision that is at hand and 
And God said, if you cooperate with me, I will move on your behalf. And so we just cooperate with the Spirit tonight. I, I'm not going to be one of those that Paul says frustrate the Spirit. I'm going to cooperate, uh, hallelujah, yeah, yeah. with the Spirit. And if more of the household of faith would cooperate in the Spirit, oh, you're talking about a time. You're talking about heaven coming on earth. Yeah, if we would just cooperate with the Spirit. Second Chronicles chapter, chapter 20. I'm going to begin reading at verse 1. And I'll stop when the Spirit says stop. Amen. Uh, yeah, yeah. It came to pass uh, after this also that the children of Moab and the children of Ammon uh, and with them other besides the Ammonites came against Jehoshaphat yeah, 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 yeah. to battle. And then there came some that told Jehoshaphat, saying, There cometh a great multitude yeah. against thee from beyond the sea on this side of Syria. And behold, they be in Hazazan, Tamar, which is in Jedi. And Jehoshaphat feared and set himself to seek the Lord and proclaimed a fast throughout all Judah. Yeah. And Judah gathered themselves together to ask help of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Even out of all of the cities of Judah, they came to seek the Lord. Yeah. And Jehoshaphat stood in the congregation of Judah and Jerusalem in the house of the Lord before the new court and said, O Lord God of our fathers, art not thou God in heaven and rulest not thou over all the kingdoms of the heathen and in thine hand is there not power and might? Oh God, so that none is able to withstand thee. Art not thou our God who didst drive out the inhabitants of this land before thy people Israel and gave it into the seed of Abraham thy friend forever? And they dwelt therein and have built thee a sanctuary therein for thy name, saying, If when evil cometh upon us as the sword, judgment, or pestilence, or famine, we stand before this house and in thy presence, for thy name is in this house, and cry unto thee in our affliction, then thou would hear and help. Now behold the children of Ammon and Moab and Mount Seir, whom thou wouldest not let Israel invade when they came out of the land of Egypt, but they turned from them and destroyed them. Not behold, I say, how they reward us to come to cast us out of thy possession, which thou hast given us to inherit. O oh, our God, wilt thou not judge them? For we have no might against this great company that cometh against us. Neither know we what to do, but our eyes are upon thee. And all Judah stood before the Lord with their little ones and their wives, and we got to get the family together, and their children. Then upon Jehaziel, the son of Zechariah, the son of Benaiah, the son of Jael, the, the son of Matani, a Levite of the sons of Asaph, came the Spirit of the Lord in the midst of the congregation, and the Spirit of the Lord said, Hearken ye all Judah, and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem and thou King Jehoshaphat. Thus saith the Lord unto you, be not afraid nor dismayed by reason of this great multitude for the battle is not yours. Yes sir. Yes sir. Yes, sir. But yes. God's. Yes. Tomorrow go ye down against them. Behold they come up 
uh, by the cliff of Ziz. And see, the Lord will reveal the end of his plans to you. And ye shall find them at the end of the brook before the wilderness of Jeruel. Ye shall not need to fight in this battle. Set yourself, stand ye still, and see the salvation of the Lord with you, O Judah and Jerusalem. Fear not, nor be dismayed. Tomorrow go out against them, for the Lord will be with you. And Jehoshaphat bowed his head with his face to the ground, and all the Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem fell before the Lord, worshiping the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the Levites of the children of Kohathites and of the children of Korhites stood up to praise the Lord God of Israel with a loud voice on high. And they rose early in the morning and went forth into the wilderness of Tekoa. And as they went forth, Jehoshaphat stood and said, Hear me, O Judah, and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem. Believe in the Lord your God. So shall be ex you be established. Believe his prophets. So shall ye prosper. When he had consulted with the people, he appointed singers unto the Lord and that they should praise the beauty of holiness as they went out before the army and to say, praise the Lord for his mercy. Uh, endure it forever. When they began to sing and to praise, the Lord said ambushments against the children of Ammon and Moab and Mount Seir, Seir, which were come against Judah, and they were smitten for the children of Ammon and Moab stood against the inhabitants of Mount Seir utterly to slay and destroy them. And when they had made an end of the inhabitants of Seir, everyone helped to destroy another. When Judah came toward the watchtower in the wilderness, they looked unto the multitude, and behold, there were dead bodies. Yes, yes. <laughs> uh, fallen to the earth, and none escaped. And when Jehoshaphat and his people came to take away the spoil of them, they found among them in abundance both riches. Uh, with the dead bodies and precious jewels which they stripped off for themselves more than they could carry away and they were three days that's a whole lot of stuff they were three days in gathering of the spoil it was so much and on the fourth day they assembled themselves in the valley of Barak for there they blessed the Lord. Therefore, the name of the same place was called the Valley of Blessings unto this day. Oh, God. And God just told me to stop right there and let the folk know that you are not in COVID-19 zone, but you're in the Valley of Blessings. Then they returned every man of Judah and Jerusalem and Jehoshaphat in the forefront of them to go again to Jerusalem with joy. For the Lord had made them to rejoice. Yes. The Lord had made them to rejoice and they came to Jerusalem with songsters and harps and trumpets and unto the house of God. And the fear of God was on all the kingdoms of those countries when they had heard that the Lord fought against the enemies of Israel. Mm -hmm. This battle is not yours. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. I know you're anxious. I know you're wondering what tomorrow's. I know you're wondering if all the votes are going to get counted or not get counted. But the battle is not yours. It's God. Uh, over 20 years ago, God first led me to this text to address the question of what to do when you don't know what to do. And now, decades later, it still has a profound message for the body of Christ as we try to navigate the perilous times that we presently find ourselves 
in through the text we are today graced with the opportunity and the privilege to assess the account of King Jehoshaphat and Judah's answer to danger and distress. And we like the king and Judah are often at wit's end and find ourselves incapable of resolving all eventualities that come in our life. You can't handle everything. In our text we read about heathen allied forces trying to conquer God's people. We too as Christians are with great regularity regulated or relegated to Satan's seemingly constant bombarding us with sharpshooter accuracy. So we need a solution. We need a cure. We need a remedy. Yes, an answer that will ascribe to our constantly escalating problems. We find, as it were, at least three considerations leading to our deliverance, our victory from the advancing probabilities of impending disruption, if not devastation, in our lives. First of all, we need to apprise our adversary. Uh -huh. Yes, yes. And, and some 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 folk think that 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 one person uh -huh. has all the power. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, but I need for you to understand that there are no powers except the power that has been granted by the Lord God Almighty. Yes, yes, yes. Uh -huh. yes. Ah. And so there's no power that's greater than him. Yeah. Uh -huh. So trust in the Lord with all your heart and lead not to your own. Don't go by what things look like. Don't look with your natural eye. Look with your faith eye. Yeah. 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 And then, and then, then we need to understand that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, uh -huh. uh, but against principalities and against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. And and and, and you need a spiritual leader if you want to fight a spiritual war. And God is our spiritual leader. Hallelujah, son. So we need to appraise our adversary and understand and know that no weapon that is formed against you is able to prosper. Yes. Secondly, we need to analyze our resources. Uh, consider what to do uh, what do you have to fight with? Uh -huh. Make known to yourselves and to those around you your strong reliance upon God and his word, God's favorable presence with you and in your life. Analyze the resources that you have to fight with. Uh -huh. As a matter of fact, your resource is so mighty that your resource tells you don't do, do, don't do anything. But stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. The battle is coming against you, but it's not your battle. The battle belongs to the Lord. Hallelujah, somebody. So stand still and see God. Well, well, really, it's not really standing still in the sense of standing motionless. But for a saint, standing still is giving God some glory. Standing still is calling on his holy and righteous name. Standing still is acknowledging God. Nobody else is acknowledging that he's almighty. He's omnipotent. He's got all power. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. And then the third thing is accept the deliverance of God. Yes. Turn to God in worship. Yes. Let faith be your arm. Yes. Praise God. Yes. Thanksgiving unto him. Let thanksgiving be your combatant. Uh -huh. Your litigant to fight the battle on your behalf. How you gonna fight? You got a you got a weapon? No, I got praise. I got thanksgiving. I gotta thank you, Lord, in the midst of my belly. And it'll keep coming up. And as a matter of fact, the Bible says, in my belly are rivers of living water. And my waters in the time of war are waters of praise, waters of exaltation, waters of lifting up the Hallelujah, son. Yes, Hallelujah. Judah began the work 
of praise, God perfected the work of their deliverance. Uh -huh. I want you to get that. I said when Judah began the work of praise, uh -huh. God perfected the work of their deliverance. Uh -huh. see, 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 a lot of us, a lot of us in the household of faith, we're too busy worrying. Yeah. But if you turn your worrying into praise, yeah. wow, you are praising God is working on your deliverance. Yeah. Remember, it is never vain to seek God. Uh -huh. Because he says, if you seek me, you're going to yeah. yeah. If you seek me, Thank you, Lord. You, how, how many things have you looked for but you couldn't find? But God says, this thing is kind of automatic. Yeah. Yes. I've got it situated so that if you seek me, yeah. you're going to find me. Yeah. I don't care how dark it is. I don't care if the storms are raging. If you seek me, yeah. therefore, receive his assurances yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. with faith, yeah. reverence, and Thanksgiving. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm about through. I, I want to talk just a minute about one of my favorite actors. Yeah, uh, yeah. And, and, and I know some of you are thinking y'all know who I'm going to talk about, <laughs> but, but I'm going way back. Mm. I'm going back to the 30s and 40s and 50s. Come on, somebody. Y'all remember uh, Johnny Wise Miller? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The first Tarzan. Uh -huh. uh, I, I realized Johnny Wisefellow was an Olympic gold medalist. Yeah. Uh huh. He was the first swimmer to ever swim a hundred meter freestyle under one minute. And his 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 record stood for so many years. And not only was he a gold medalist in the freestyle, but he was a gold medalist in the the four hundred meter relay. Yeah. Uh, and he partnered up with another gentleman and his two brothers and the four of them gold medal in the relay. Uh -huh. Well, I, what I wanted to really tell you about Johnny was when he was playing Tarzan, and some of you remember Tarzan. Tarzan would fight lions and come on somebody and tigers and he would swim in the water and, and, and save boy on a lily pad before he'd go over the waterfall. Uh, he was fighting the Nazis and doing all kinds of stuff. And I found out, I found out, I loved him so much, I found out that that, that Johnny Wise Miller did all of his stunts, or pretty much most of his stunts. But while he was doing his acting and doing most of his stunts, uh, 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 he received a whole lot of injury. Because he actually did the stunts himself. But in nowadays, most actors, when they are doing that kind of stuff in these action films, they have a stunt double. And when the scene gets to a place of an adversary or a place of fighting or struggling, they stop the camera. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Uh -huh. And they call for the stunt double uh -huh. Uh -huh. to come in yeah. and take the fight. Uh -huh. yeah. And the stunt, the, when the fight scene is over, they take the stunt double out and they put the actor. Yes, 
saw Jesus walking in the fire. So what happened? God had extracted. Now see, God had extracted Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They were somewhere safe in the arms of God. And when Jesus got through cooling the flames, when they opened the door, out came Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And the king said, did they even smell? Ah, the battle. Yes, yes, I'm going to say it till you get it. The battle. Thank you, sir. Thank you. 
we thank you for reminding us that you are our battle axe in the time of war. We thank you, God, for reminding us that there is no authority above your authority that you can rescue your children in any and every circumstance. So God, we place our confidence in you. We know that you are our mighty God, our strong deliverer, our way maker. So God, we're going to trust in you. We're going to have our confidence in you. God, I agree with the evangelist. Heal our land, oh Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. Our land needs healing. Yes, God. Man's heart needs healing. Yes, yes, Heal our land. Yes, God. So God, we thank you yes, for this time of worship. Yes. We thank you, God, that we are strengthened and we are resolved to run on and see what the end is going to be. Bless us. And be us. Let us be a blessing to others. Give us to encourage one another. Give us, oh God, to keep the faith. And now may the love of God and the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the sweet communion of God's Holy Spirit, Rest, rule, and abide with God's people both now and forevermore. And the people of God said together, Amen. 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 Amen.